Hey YouTube, welcome back everyone. Well, we got something to look at tonight, and uh, this is going to be a multi-part video. Um, hopefully you guys will think that's okay. Before we get started though, I had another question about this, and uh, Joe, the answer to your question is that synchronous motor runs at 30 RPM. So with that said, let's take a look at this. This is a turbine, and uh, I know that these are available, that you can buy them, uh, it's a JT2, I believe, or a JTB is what they sell them as, and they're about this tall. This is a fairly decent sized model. I wish I could take credit for the machining work on this, because it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Whoever built it did a, an amazing job, but I thought we would uh, open this up, take a look at it, that way you guys can see the the way it's constructed and then uh, when we get done we'll put it back together and uh, I don't know if you guys can see this flywheel back over here but that's going to be part of uh, what this is going to be doing here in a little while so all right well let's get this guy taken apart let's take a look at it and see how it's built the reason I'm thinking that this was a, a machinist built model is everything on this is standard it's not metric even the shaft here. I turned this pulley out last night while I was making this one back here. We'll put that with it. I guess I can uh, go ahead and cut this part out. You guys have seen how these come apart, so I'll get these screws out and I'll bring you guys right back. Okay, so we got our last cap screw ready to come off here. I'll get him out of the way. And we'll set this off to the side for just a second. We'll look at the inside. I'll bring you guys closer. I'm sorry about the glare. But right here is our jet. And uh, how these operate is your steam or air comes in through here and then it hits on our impeller wheel here and try to get the glare away from it but these are semi-circular and so when our steam passes across it or air it will hit this hold it deflect it and this is our exhaust. So this is machined entirely out of brass. And uh, I don't know if it shows up. We have balance marks here. And uh, like I said, this thing is just fantastically built. We've got, looks like two bearings, inner and outer. And, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, I'm impressed with it. I really, really like this one. So, all right, well, we'll get our impeller back on here. And you can see how, and it's just, it's beautifully machined. It appears to be balanced, almost perfect. But, uh, okay, we'll get that back on there. We'll just set it up there. We'll start one in here. So what our intentions are with this little turbine, and let me know what you guys think. If you guys would like to see, uh, you know, the rest of a, a build on this, and uh, I will record it. But these things spin at extremely high RPMs, so we need to step that down. So we made this pulley, and. We're going to build a line shaft to run this pulley to slow our output power down, our output speed, but also in increase our power or our torque. 
and then from that we will run a smaller pulley and we're going to run it down to a generator and the generator we're going to use these are available uh, is this one so we'll see what we can make for power output from our air or steam going into this through our line shaft step down to our generator and we'll see what we can do we'll get it all mounted up and uh, we'll give it a test run we'll see what it, we'll see what happens with it so all right guys thanks again sorry about uh, this being kind of a short video but uh, I was out here last night for a few hours making this and I did record it so I'll shorten that up a couple of you mentioned uh, yeah I wouldn't mind seeing a machining video and uh, a disclaimer before you guys even see it no I'm not a machinist but we can come out with some pretty good results so this in here we still need to go through and take our flashing off from in between but this is one of those flywheels from PM research so all right guys well thanks again I appreciate it and uh, you guys are fantastic I'm loving this so all right until next time thanks again we'll see you soon